Hard hats on, there is a satellite about to plunge to Earth. It's called Aeolus, and for the last five years, it's been orbiting the planet, measuring winds, and it's been helping to improve weather forecasts. But its fuel is now running out, and it is falling by around a kilometre a day. Now, if the European Space Agency, which operates it, left it to its own devices, it probably would land somewhere in the ocean, but they can't be sure. It could still hit somewhere and land. Of course, there is then a very small risk of it hitting uh, infrastructure or even a, a village, something like that. And, and that's why they are now, for the first time, going to try and use the last drops of fuel to steer it safely into a watery grave. Most of it would burn up in the atmosphere, but because of its size, it's about the size of a, of a car, and also because of some of the components on board, bits would make it through. And that's why they, they will take this precaution, steering it down in a series of maneuvers over the coming weeks uh, so that it is uh, no risk to anybody at all. Now, ar around 3,000 satellites are still in orbit. They no longer work, uh, and that is a, a, a risk because they will come down at some point. Now, there are companies like Astrosail here uh, in Oxfordshire where they are looking at ways of making space more sustainable. Their idea is effectively to send up space tankers to refuel uh, these satellites to keep them in service for longer, and that would reduce the amount of space junk, reduce the number of satellites that come back down to Earth. It's a one way of looking about the sustainability of space so we get fewer risks to people back down here on the planet.